Oh, hey y'all. So I'm just working on the gathering change on my head because it is time to corn harvest. Let's get to it. So uh, basically, I'm checking over this uh, harvester and the corn head. Uh, I used it last year. I just have to check it over this year and basically grease it, uh, replace all the the bad bearings, all the bad uh, chains, all the bad belts. Basically, the normal yearly uh, swap stuff you have to do with all your harvesters. Uh, as you guys know, we only have one harvester. Uh, we just have this, uh, the gleaner. We ended up getting rid of B-spine, uh, but I got too much land. I, I don't, I need more than, uh, one harvester around this place. I don't even have a grain cart. I don't even have a grain trailer. I don't have hardly anything but a tractor and one grain dump truck. That's not gonna cut it. So, I've been on the lookout, but I still haven't found a good deal, so... I'm really nervous. Alright, so it looks like I gotta pick up a few bearings and a few new gathering chains. I think only uh, Big Bob's equipment repair is the only one open right now, so I'm gonna head down there and try to pick this up. Alright, so let's head down there before he closes. I know he's working late tonight, so uh, I don't want to have to keep him at his uh, shop. Yeah, look at that. Just love how my uh, place lights up at night. All right, so uh, Bob, he told me some good info. So I guess one of the farmers uh, is going out of business. So his bank is basically uh, foreclosing his uh, farm, but he has a lot of equipment that could be useful for us. So Bob just kind of like, hey, did you know this, uh, this uh, garage is basically selling here in the next few days? So he basically said it's a local uh, business that it's a local farmer that worked right out of the town basically so he owned a uh, little uh, his farmyard was right next to his town Ooh, I think I think this is it and yeah, it's kind of it's not very lit up I don't know I guess uh, is this it? Oh, yep, it's locked up. Man, they even put a semi-trailer in front of this door. Is that some extra security to keep it locked up? I don't think we're getting in that. Oh man, I can't I can't hardly see in there with no lights. I do see something, uh some type of terror gator and at least a corn head. And it looks like a forklift. That's all I can see. Can't really see anything. Hmm. Yep. The door is uh, not functioning, so they must have that disconnected out here. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to put in a bid. But, I guess... I guess first thing tomorrow... We'll come down here and check it out just to see. Uh, it's pretty late tonight, so I don't know if I'll even go back to the garage and fix my corn head, but we are way behind, so I've seen some... Uh, there's a couple of uh, farmers around here that's already started harvesting, and we haven't even started yet, so we've got a lot of land to cover. But we'll get up early. We'll see if we can uh, check it out. All right, it's time to turn the lights off. It's time to catch some Z's. Catch you guys in the morning. I just love waking up in the morning, listening to the birds chirp, the cattle's ball wanting fed, like always, but man, they stink, but they make a lot of moolah. All right, so the important thing to do today is we need to go down and see what the contents of in this uh, building are. So just to check it out, see if it's, it'll work for us. Got a pressure wash my truck off. You can't be seen uh, with a dirty truck. You gotta look serious. Uh, of course, I almost forgot to feed Gina. Sorry, girl. 
I'm really worried because I know our our uh, crops will go. Been out there crop scouting and uh, they are ready to go now. But I, I really need another harvester. Uh, I, I definitely need some more uh, a grain trailer or something or a grain cart. Uh, it'll just take me forever having to uh, harvest without a grain cart and just one truck. I just can't withstand that or can't get by with that this year so I, I need to find something I should have found something way earlier but we've been just so busy with hay making with building with stocking the feedlot everything I just have no time so let's see what is in here all right so is this place still locked up yep I'm just gonna look around here I didn't get to look around last night or didn't really want to yeah, this, they must really uh, worry about security. They do not want you opening that door whatsoever, cracking it open. So, this is supposed to be just a uh, buy as is, blind bid if you want to say. Alright, so it looks like they have an auger. That's a big auger. I think that says at 1395, so I guess that would mean it's a 13 inch. 95 foot I believe uh, it does have a little grain that would work really good for us it's long it's uh, long enough for our grain bins and man that thing will put some grain through it the only thing bad about it is we can't really tell the sheeting and everything so from here so there won't be nowhere to tell man this thing is loaded down I just see so many I see a grain cart see a uh, a uh, interrogator with uh, looks like a dry box on it. See a forklift. See a Wilson uh, pace setter grain trailer, and we uh, see a a green harvester. Man, I can't tell what that is. What uh, size that uh, harvester? Just from the interior, I believe it's a 600 series, so it's the last series. Don't know what size it is. I don't think it's uh, eight or nine, just by the size and the look of it. But I could be wrong. Uh, it's either a uh, sixty-six or a six-sixty or a six-seventy. Looks like we have a J and M. Does that say ten fifty-one? Yep. We got a grain cart back there. We got a John Deere seven twelve C uh, corn head there. So that's kind of like the corn head we used uh, in Iowa. So that thing worked great for us. So that thing, I was looking for another one of them. I should have got rid of my other one, to be honest. It's just such a dumbo. Should have just kept beast buying, but didn't really want to deal with transportation. Now I don't have a beast buy. Now I'm looking for another harvester. Oh man, so this is going to be hard. Man, I wish I could get in there. Yep button isn't working so they must have that disconnected I'm surprised there's not letting more light in all right so I'm gonna have to bid on all content so I don't really want the interrogator fork would lift would be all right but I don't need one of them you know what them things are good for when you're moving stuff around inside your garages or kind of getting stuff nice and neat and as close as possible them things kind of work nice for uh pulling stuff in you just put a hole in one of the forklifts and you can easily pin stuff up and move it around all right so let's I guess let's break this down by item before I get into that so this land all this contents and all here are basically bought I heard some company RCC is buying this so I know he is not a farmer or wasn't a farmer in his last in Iowa, but he's supposed to make some huge uh, dealership here or something like that. I don't know exactly, but I know he doesn't want the farm equipment. So this is basically uh, they put all this equipment in here so we can uh, there and it's gonna go for bid so that way I know he bought this land 
these buildings, all this contents around here. I think the farmland too, if I'm not mistaken, for a pretty good piece of chunk of money. So I don't know if he's going to bid against us because I know, I don't think he was a farmer in Iowa, but that RCC, I mean, as much as he bid, that's going to be tough because I know he paid for over a mil. I don't know exactly what he paid for, but it was a lot. The building and the land, not, none of that's for sale. None of that's going to be bid on. So uh, the agent made it very clear. So let's figure this up. Yeah, I'm going to need to get my calculator. So the Wilson trailer looks fairly new. All right, so we're going to say the pace setter is worth 60k. 60,000. Augur. Man, that's tough. I mean, it's it's such a gamble with that because either it's in really good condition or bad. I'm not good at this, but let's say okay, 20. So we're at 80 ahead. So then things are surprisingly kind of expensive. So whew. I mean, that could be a lot. That could be a huge difference. I think underneath I can at least see it has uh, choppers or straw choppers underneath it. So, oh man. Whew, that is tough because, you know, it's kind of like a planter. Like it could be a lot or it could be just uh, mediocre. At least it has straw choppers. It's, it's at least a few years old, so it has a few seasons on it. All right, so let's say 70,000. I'm probably way off on there, so what are we at now? 175. Well, now comes the tough part, this harvester. So this could just depends on the separator hours. I'm guessing here, but I'm guessing it's a 2015. Man, this one's tough. This one's tough. Where are we at? 275? Man, I hope I, that number's correct. 275... So I'm going another 275 just for the harvester. I'm probably, I'm probably way off. All right, so that is what the whole thing is worth. So what are we at? 550,000 right now. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know if this trailer is in the purchase or not. See, that's a gamble. So this is a belt trailer here. I guess I could use this for grain too. I guess I could definitely use it for silage. So it looks like uh, I can't really, I don't know what the numbers mean, but it should work good. The old International should pull this trailer pretty nice. Maybe 50,000, maybe 40 to be safe. So I'm guessing this whole, what this whole building is worth right now, all the contents is, uh, close to 600,000. I know it took me forever to get to that, but man, I, all I'm seeing is through a uh, old uh, see-through tin sheet here. So another important question is, so what will our banker, let me call the banker up, see what he said. Hey, Tim? Yeah, this is Tim. Yeah, this is Stevio here. So uh, I know I I talked to you about have to purchase another harvester for uh, my operation and some grain equipment. Oh yeah, we talked. Yeah. Let me guess, you want to borrow more money? Yeah. Like always, every time you call me, all you want to do is borrow money. Did you know about the farmyard adjacent to Phillips 66 uh, going up for auction, the equipment? Yeah, what's it to you, Stevio? So I'm kind of looking through this building and I know the equipment looks pretty good condition. I think I need to put a bid in because I mean I can't pass this up especially I almost need almost everything in the building I might sell some of the items like the forklift and the tear gator but everything else I need yeah yeah just tell me what you want already stop wasting my time so my question is what will I be able to take what loan will I be able to take out it's always always asking me for money of course all right, 450000 that's it. You're done. 
No more. 450,000. That's your, my max? You need your ears checked or something? Yes. All right. Well, that's my max. I'm hanging up now. Well, thanks. I That solves the question of me on the what I'm going to bid, so. But really worried because when I was driving here this morning, I saw, I think it was Clutch driving away. So he might have put in a bid, too. So. so I need to register my bid and put in my bid. This, this is hard, so we should find out in a few days, or a day now, I guess, who won. I, I think I'm gonna go grab a coffee and just sit down and think about this a little bit. Thank goodness Philip 66 is finally open for once. I know I'm probably going to overshoot it, but I really need this to win this uh, purchase, so I'm gonna bid... Uh, 530,000 for all the equipment. 530,000 a good bid or not? Just so hard. So I need to go get registered here and uh, talk to the agent and put in my bid. All right, so uh, I put in a bid. So I put in the bid uh, 530,000. I know, I, I don't know. Something was telling me to bid 540, so I hope my gut feeling was wrong, but. So I'll go home, back home, finish working on my gleaner there quickly, and uh, wait for this phone call tomorrow, I guess. All right, so still waiting for the phone call here. I got my silver bullet here running good, so I'm just gonna check it out, check the corn, see if it'll go or not. Let's uh, get into this corn here. So we are running what? It's like we're running about 180, 190 bushels per acre. It's still a little wet, but we got a grain dryer. That percentage can't be off. It says that it's at 12.8 percentage. Uh, that's wrong. We're gonna have to calibrate that. There's no way. My uh, test I did wasn't near that. Oh, looks like I'm getting a phone call here. Let me sh shut this down. Hello? Hi, this is Wickerville Realty. Is this Stevio? Yep, this is Stevio. Did you recently bid on an equipment auction? Yep. Just to ensure, can you tell me your bid number? Uh, my bid number is... Eight five two seven four one. Congratulations, you were the highest bid. Oh yes. We will just need you to drop off a cashier's check for the full amount. What was the next closest bid? We are not able to disclose that information. Oh, you can't tell me? Yes, that is literally what I just said. Okay. Do you have any more intelligent questions? So what do I need to do? I already told you. For once, I want somebody to listen to me when I'm talking to them. All right, so I can just drop off the check. Were you ever in a farm accident? Yes. Bye now. I'm hanging up. All right. All right. All right, I'll, I'll come over there right now. All right, so I'm going to go take this grain in anyways just to see uh, what it's running. Take it into the local co-op so they can give me a percentage check here. Pretty excited. I'm really nervous that we overbid that whole, that whole thing, though, because, man. I mean, we we bid, it was kind of a high bid for what I thought it was worth. I, I might have undervalued some of the stuff. I might have overvalued some of the stuff. Yeah, that, that, that's tough. That's a tough call. Tough call. So, just hate doing bids like that, blind bids. All right, I got to grab some of this grain here. So, all right, head to the elevator after I sign all the paperwork. So I'm going to have to go sign some papers with the banker. Uh, also, and then I have to go authenticate my check and everything. Then I'll have to go get a cashier's check. Hopefully the bank can do that. And then I'll give it to the agent. And then he should be able, and then we should be cleared. Give me all the titles to all the... 
pieces of equipment. I'm sure I'll just have to, actually I'll probably have to just give, hand over the titles to the bank. It means I'm putting a lend against it. But, and then I should get a key to the facility and all the equipment. And most importantly, I can start checking everything out just to see if I got ripped off or uh, I got a good deal or not. All right, so we signed the loan. Now we have to, we had to run down to uh, York Bank. So we're running back here. I gotta go uh, final some few things with the agent. And I got the cashier's check. I am a really a poor bastard right now. So I, I, I need a good harvest. Let's just, let's just say that. I need a good harvest to pay for all my bills. In your farm accident, weirdo. What was that? Somebody yell at me? Alright, so that was uh, hard to swallow, but I got everything. So it said RCC wants all that equipment out in one day. So I'm hoping everything starts up, everything works good, because we got to have all that equipment out of here, out of this place. Man, we need to get all that stuff out of there, so we need to start hauling, like, right now. Uh, start checking this place out. Alright, I got a ton of keys with me here. I'll grab all of them. And, uh, I got the key for the building. Gotta, let's see. Gotta figure out which key is gonna open this door here. Alright. Door is open, and I am blocked off. Wow. Talk about... Well, I gotta turn the power on here, so I'll flip this. Alright, raise that old uh, door open. Alright. What do we got in here? So the most important thing I want to look at is the harvester because this will seal the deal. Man, these just, tires are giant. So this is oh, LSW's 1400 30R46 Goodyear's. Man, them are huge. I think them are bigger than beast binds. What are we going to call this old harvester now? Man. Them, them tires are worth a lot of money in themselves. Them are obviously, I think, aftermarket tires. I don't think you can purchase that from the dealer. Them, I mean, these are about brand new. I mean, they were put away dirty, but them are about brand spanking new. Uh, man. So this is a S670 Harvester. So it is the big, it is a 7 Series, so that's what I wanted uh, I was hoping for a 7 Series, just I think it'd fit our operation perfectly. Oh, this Goodyear, uh, so the rear tires are Goodyear too, so LSW 850s, man, man, so I'm, I didn't, I'm surprised I didn't catch that them were, uh, Goodyear tires from that doorway, but you couldn't really see anything, man, that's, that's nice. So now, it's, alright, yep, so this is the old style cab, but everything looks really nice in there. Everything functions right. Yeah, yeah, you can move that around. Yep, so, put the buddy seat down. Uh, I don't get my uh, cooler in here. Let's see, where is this key at? All right, let's see if this old thing will start up. Oh wow, we even got a screen up here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, let's see how many, ooh. So it does have, a, it does have 700 separator hours on it, which isn't bad, not bad. I'm not complaining about that at all. Oh, looks like the interior light works. I mean, it started up, so that's what I'm 
I mean, everything looks good to me. I mean, I'm gonna have to break it open and break up some of the panels just to check it out. Don't really have time to do that right now, but I'm gonna shut this off. Man, I think I got a great deal. I, I extremely undervalued that uh, harvester, in my opinion at least. So let's, the next most expensive item, this is a Terra Shift, Terragator Southwest. I don't know much about these, so these have some big floater tires on it. This guy definitely lighted floater tires. I mean, shoot, the grain cart, the interrogator, and the harvester. This thing is actually pretty nice inside. I kind of like how you can see the back of your grain box. You can easily see uh, what you got in there. Uh, it starts up. All the controls look like they light up. They work. Man. So I think I could get a pretty good penny. So now the question is, is do we keep this or do we sell it? Uh, don't know. I, I mean, that's... This has got to be newer. I don't know what year this would be, but it's definitely a newer uh, interrogator. So... It might always been used by the co-op and got hard use for a few years, but I guess I'm gonna have to tear it off, tear it apart, see how many uh, engine hours it has on it, and how good the box is. Cause sometimes the box are really rusty. So all right, so this is a uh, 1051 JNM. Has some Firestones act tires on there. Uh, the sheeting that I could see right now looks pretty good. Let me climb up here and see. Wow, that's the paint still in there. Is this thing new? This thing could be brand spanking new. Wow. I mean, usually that would be all shiny or rusty or one of the two because uh, the grain basically wears off that paint. But the grain hasn't even wore off that paint, so it might have been used one season. Kind of doubt that. But man, I uh, got a good deal on this, that's for sure make my way around here so next important I really need this uh, farm king to be a good auger otherwise I'm gonna have to find another one so this is a 1395 man is that thing tall I'm surprised it fits in here it just seems like it barely fits in here farm king uh, the sheeting on here that I can see looks really good uh, I don't see, there's not a lot of uh, vibration in the PTO shaft here, so pretty sure I got a good deal on this Farm King uh, auger here. More will tell once we use it. Man, Manitou, little uh, forklift here. Yeah, it starts up nicely. I don't know if I'll sell this or not. I guess it just depends on our yield this year. Probably depending on if I sell the Terragator in the Manitou is uh, depending on our yield, probably more than anything. All right, so this corn head is important too, so we'll check it out. Ooh. So this has been used, so I think this is a 15 or 16 corn head. Does have Dock stompers on it, and it does have choppers underneath it. So, whew. it's got extra light package on it. Hmm, it's kind of a nice corn head to be honest. It looks like some of these have been repaired. It's definitely used every season, so it's got a little bit of wear. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of shop work to it to repair it. But, man, I think I got a great deal on all this item, so I kind of, I think I bid a just about right for all this stuff, in my opinion, in at least. You guys will have to let me know. You guys will also have to let me know, what do, what do you want to call uh, our new uh, green machine here? Uh, the green beast? I mean, them tires are kind of nice. I mean, to me, to me, that looks mean. I mean, that looks like a beast. I would not want to see this moving down the field like this. Because, of course, it's not going to work out for you. But 
two, it's pretty intimidating. Hmm. I mean, I just love the tires on there. You guys will have to let me know what, what you think we should call I just like nicknaming my uh, harvesters. I know, I mean, it's kind of weird, but I'm weird. I just like nicknaming them. You guys are pretty good at giving me good nicknames, like the Silver Bullet. Or what else did you call it? Uh, the Shiny uh, Cedar or the Galvanized Cedar. A whole bunch of funny names, but kind of like them. You guys will have to let me know what you think we should call that, uh, our green machine, our S670. Hmm, we've got LED light package, so I don't know if this is my trailer or not, so that's the question. So, I mean, it's supposed to be the items in the building, but, I mean, that's pretty close. I, I have no idea. I'm going to have to check with the agent to find out if that's my trailer or not. I kind of want it now. I mean, of course I want it, because uh, it would be free if I get it. If not, it's uh, not mine, and it's not free, but go. Get this thing back to the farmyard. Man, I'm going to have to get this hooked up in the field. I don't know. I mean, hopefully I can get in the field in a day or so, maybe two days. Depends. I have to do a little bit of header work. Got to get all the tractors hooked up, ready to go to figure out what we're going to do about the other uh, grain trailer. I need to get in the field. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Nebraska. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.